Yo, what's going on out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with a special video for you guys here for GTA 5 Online. Guys, we have some new rules to the daily sell limit, alright? This is very, very important to anybody who is selling dupes. Alright, so... Uh, to, just to start off with, I'm you know I'm gonna give a shout out, a huge shout out to Nick Gore. Nick Gore is the man. He's the guy that you know searches the background scripts and he finds all of this info for us. But yeah, we're gonna get into all of that. Um, I just wanted to say the gameplay in the background. It's for those guys that didn't know how to get the joggers outfit shortlisted to be able to do the DM glitch. I thought I might as well go ahead and put some gameplay back there. Basically, you're just you know you're just shortlisting your GT Online character one and doing the glitch like that, finding a joggers outfit and shortlisting it. All right, and then you want to save the game after. That's the basics of it. But I'm actually showing you you know the gameplay of it in the background. You know I thought I'd knock two birds out with one stone. Anyways, let's get into this really, really important video here, okay? So, anybody that sells dupes, you know, to make money or even sells cars and you're a legit player, this actually applies to you as well. It applies to just selling cars in general. Now, check out the video in the pinned comment. That's my old video about the daily sell limit. Um, it has some old info in it, but... You know, I'm going to update everything now with this one, but it's a highly successful video and I'm so glad people are so interested in it because it's massively important if you're selling dupes. You know, if you want to remain a clean player in their eyes and a safe player, basically. Now, the new rule is that the threshold has changed, okay? The threshold used to be 60 minutes. Now, the threshold is 120 minutes, so it went from one hour to two hours. Now, what does that mean? Basically, back then when I made that other video, you could sell one car every 31 minutes and be safe, all right? That was the rule. One car every 31 minutes and you were good. Before that, we actually could sell a car every 7 or 10 minutes and be good. So it, this is, you know, it's changed quite a few times. Now, so this is what I recommend basically. So you got two cars in two hours is okay. I'm actually going to put up what Nick Gore said on his thread. I'll post a link down in the uh, pinned comment as well about Nick Gore's thread. Definitely go check it out. It's really important. Um... But yeah, so two cars in two hours is okay, but you want to make sure that you do space them apart, okay? You definitely want to space them apart by an hour. Now, what I would recommend is one car every 61 minutes, okay? That's probably your best bet, okay, is a car in 61 minutes instead of 31 minutes. So we're just multiplying the old ro rule by two. Now, we had a lot of people hitting their, their daily sell limits recently, and I had a bunch of people asking me about it, and I had no idea why. I couldn't, you know, last time this happened, you know, we didn't know why at all until it was a little bit too late. We did catch it pretty quickly this time, uh, but yeah, you know, you guys really, really need to take this into account that if you're selling dupes, you need to be careful or else you're going to start hitting your daily sell limit. So if you sell three cars or more within two hours you will get flagged, all right? Your account will get flagged and you'll slowly start to build, you know, a profile in the Rockstar servers and they'll know that you're overselling and eventually you're going to hit your daily sell limit and you could actually lose your plates. So that's the rule, guys. Two cars in two hours is okay. I definitely recommend this is I'm going to put up right now how to avoid a daily sell limit. So here it is. All right. Do not sell three or more cars in any 120 minute period. Okay. So at that point, you can sell two cars, then wait 120 minutes to sell another, okay? So that you can also do that. If you really want to do that, I definitely recommend still spacing it out. You know, back then, actually, you know, before this new rule, I was selling two cars back to back, and then I would wait a full hour, you know, to actually sell more. And that worked. That was fine. But you can't really do that now. So now I highly recommend that if you're going to be selling cars like back to back, you sell, if you're going to sell cars back to back, it's still risky, but sell a car back to back and then make, uh, you know, and then wait at least two hours, okay? At least two hours before you even sell another car, okay? And obviously the rule that I was telling you before, sell one car every 61 minutes if you want to be safe. That's probably what I highly recommend. Sell only one car every 61 minutes and you will be perfectly safe from this new, you know, daily sell limit change, all right? And as always... Do not sell more than eight cars in 30 hours, and that's if you've never hit a sell limit. If you have hit a sell limit, you only want to sell seven cars per day or per 30 hours. Now, if you don't know whether you're in that 30-hour period or not, what I recommend doing is just stop selling cars for the next day or two, okay? Just take, you know, just take a day or two off, and it's actually more than a day. It's more than 24 hours, so if you want, you know, count down to your, where your last vehicle was sold or just like right now while you're watching the video, 
take into account what time it is and add 30 hours past that and do not sell a car for that whole 30 hour period once you've done that your slate has been cleaned for just you know the 30 hour you know time period and go ahead and start selling your vehicles and then start following the new rules okay I highly recommend just kind of doing a quick little reset on your old rhythm and how you were selling cars before very very important now, I'm going to put the exploit levels up right now. Those are still the same. Exploit level 1, 2, and 3. You know, 10, 8, and 6 cars every 30 hours. Once you get past that, you will be losing your custom plates. So anybody that loses their custom plates, you are a level 4, 5, 6, or maybe even a 7 exploiter. All right? And you definitely don't want to be down there because you can barely sell any cars per day. It really, really sucks. Okay, so I highly recommend following the rules so you don't fall into that trap. All right? Now, also... For people that are repeat cap offenders, level 1 or level 2, those that actually has changed. I don't know if I updated it in my last video, but I'm definitely going to say it in this one. Those of you that were saying, oh, you know, it's been nine months, it's been like pretty much like a year, why is it that I still have a sell limit, you know, and I, can, I can still only sell one car per day because, you know, you're a repeat cap offender. That's because it changed. It used to be nine months, then we heard it was 12 months, and it's been confirmed that it is 15 months now. So that is the time period that you're kind of screwed if you're a repeat cap offender. So if you are a repeat cap offender, I recommend you want to sign into GTA at least every other day. You know, you need to sign in. Even if you're not doing anything, just go online, you know, every other day at least. And just play the game a little bit if you really want to. But the most important thing is to sign in and just don't sell any cars. Do not sell any cars whatsoever, all right, until you get your custom plates back. Once you've gotten your custom plates back, you know that you're a level 1, 2, or 3 exploiter, all right? And, you know, you can work from there. But, guys, this is really, really important info. You guys need to understand this. Like I said, I'll have my old video with the old rules, but I still go over a lot in that video. It's like 14 minutes, but it's jam-packed with information. Uh, you can go ahead and check that video out in the pinned comment. And I'm also going to leave Nick Gore's thread in the pinned comment as well, okay? But that's pretty much the new info that you guys really do need to know. Uh, and yeah, if you guys have any questions, like always, I'll definitely try to answer them in the comments section. This is a really important issue, and I hope everybody understood the video and uh, enjoyed it, you know. So that's going to be it for me. My name's Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by pressing that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25K. Peace out, guys.